Hey everyone, Ryan here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the space, thanks for stopping by. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I would surely appreciate it. In today's fitness gear review, we're talking speed ropes, specifically budget speed ropes off of Amazon. I personally love speed ropes. They're a great tool to have in your gym bag. Uh, they're a great tool for cardio. They're compact and they're versatile. If you're familiar with CrossFit, then you know that we use these things on a regular basis. They're just a staple at the gym. Now, if not, speed ropes can be a great option for cardio. They get your heart rate going quickly. You increase muscle engagement and build aerobic capacity. And one of the things that I love about them is that you can do it anywhere. Shopping for a rope can be really overwhelming. There's tons of brands out there. And ultimately, when it comes to speed ropes, it really is up to your preferences. Now, there's many types of handles, many types of ropes many types of connectors and so it may take a couple tries for you to find the right one so my suggestion is that if you're first starting out if you're just learning how to do double unders if you're just starting to work with a rope uh, spare yourself the cost for the meantime i think there are a lot of budget brands out there that can do the job and then later on when you get more versed uh, in the skill then you can upgrade if you want so in today's review, I've picked out a few different types of ropes uh, off of Amazon, a couple of different styles, a couple of different price points, and we're gonna go over them individually. I'll show you uh, the makeup of each rope, uh, and then we're gonna put them to the test. Before we get into the ropes, I wanted to mention there are a couple of things that you do wanna look out for when you're shopping for a rope. Uh, these particular things can bring extra value to your purchase, but also extend the life of your rope. Key things to look out for when you're shopping around might be extra cables, extra parts. You definitely want to have a pouch or a holder. Uh, one really important thing to look for is the uh, cable length. Now, I'm 5'7". A lot of the ropes on Amazon, they average about 9 to 13 feet um, in length. And so all of those would, would work fine. As you know, or if you didn't know, when you start to work with your rope, you actually have to measure it out um, and then cut it to your size. So if you are a taller athlete, uh, if you pick a rope that's too short, you might end up having to buy an extra rope somewhere else or from the same manufacturer. It's better to get it uh, in your first shot. Things that aren't as important but can add value um, are any extras that might come with it. One of the ropes that I'm gonna show you today, after I made the purchase, I got an email from the seller and they basically sent me um, a few different workout guides, which I thought was pretty cool because if you aren't a CrossFitter and you are using a rope for fitness, these guys can help uh, give you ideas for your workout. All right, so let's get into the ropes. The uh, first one that I have here is the D2 Zone Fitness Rope. Uh, this one is about $17, $16.98 to be exact on Amazon. The cable length is 10 feet. The rope thickness is 2.5 millimeters and it comes with two aluminum handles and some coated ropes. Funny story is I actually ordered another rope that looked similar to this. Thought it was a different brand and it ended up being the exact same thing. Now, the difference was this rope, this one was $16 and it just came with the rope, right? And this one was $17 and this actually came with an extra cable, uh, had extra parts with it and it actually had two cable covers. What I wanted to mention about these cable covers is you can actually put them on your rope to help protect it even further when you're jumping. Uh, if you didn't know, cables come in two different styles. They can come in a coated plastic or it can be just the wire cable itself. Something to mention is that if you are just using a cable wire, you wanna keep, uh, you wanna work out just on a gym type floor, like those soft gym mats and not take it outside because on rough surfaces, on concrete, it can cause the cable to fray real easily. Now, if you have a plastic or a coated rope, you're pretty safe, uh, but when you're on rough surfaces, it can snag on rocks or on the pavement, and that can also damage your rope as well. So, you know, th these are good. Um, some athletes that I know that have used these 
they don't like them because it, it adds weight to the rope. Uh, it causes a little bit of drag, but it's still good to have just in case you want to use it. This particular rope has a screw in collar connector. So you take a screwdriver and you loosen, up it, loosen it up on the end. And this is how you make your adjustment. So it slides and then you just go ahead and tighten it down uh, on both sides and then you're good to go. My first impression of these is that they are really heavy. The handles are anyway. Uh, I am used to a slimmer hollow body aluminum. And as you can see, uh, these are solid. So uh, in terms of preferences, that's one thing that you're going to determine when you're working with your rope and I am concerned uh, how this is going to perform uh, in terms of your rotation and when you are flicking the rope, but we'll see. Next up, we have the B-Max rope from PL Concepts. This particular rope is $10 on Amazon. Uh, the rope is about 10.3 feet in length, and it does come with two different types of cables. They're, they're uh, each a different thickness. One is about 3.4 millimeters and the other one is 2.4 millimeters. Now, the connector on this is a 90 degree ball bearing with a screw and collar on it. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, anyway, there you go. So again, a screw top, you're going to screw that loose, kind of pull the rope through, right? Make your adjustment and then screw it back down again. So first impression on this particular rope, uh, the handles are one of the lighter ones from all the ropes that I've chosen, uh, but they are a thicker barrel. So again, this is gonna be preference. I personally am curious to, uh, more interested to try this one out. I wanna see what the difference is uh, in terms of using a thicker barrel versus a thinner barrel, uh, but also how it fares because of its weight. One of the more interesting ropes that I picked up was this rope, or is this rope called the uh, Lito, Lito, Lito rope or something like that. Anyways, the rope is $13 on Amazon. Uh, the length is about nine feet and the rope is pretty thick. It's about 4.5 uh, milliliters. Connector on this is more of a um, hook or loop and hook with a cap closure. Now. Uh, that is what I thought was interesting about the rope and so that's why I had picked it up. Uh, one of my concerns with this is I'm not sure uh, how sturdy or uh, how tight the lock is on this and so uh, we'll have to see when we test it out if it uh, holds up. This rope did come with a velvet pouch but it didn't come with any extras. Now what I wanted to mention about the pouches or a holder uh, I think it's important to also in your purchase, make sure that you do have one of these, or if not, that you have something to put your rope in. Uh, if you're well-versed with ropes or if you've used them a lot, then you know if you don't take care of the rope, if you don't uh, wrap it up or put it in a pouch, it can very easily get damaged, especially if it's one of those thinner ropes, uh, like a wire cable, they can <clears throat> bend or kink and that will definitely affect uh, affect you in your workouts. The next rope we have is from 321 Strong. Now this one is $9 on Amazon. The cable length is 11 feet and the cable thickness is about 2.5 millimeters. This rope came with a plastic uh, nylon pouch, uh, definitely cheap material, but it'll do to cover your rope. And inside there is extra cable. We got um, and some spare parts. So that's that's pretty good to have some extras on it. So first impression on this one or this rope is that it is light. Uh, it is one of the lighter ones in the five that I chose. Uh, this probably would be next or maybe about comparable. Um, and it is also very similar to size and weight of the handle that I'm used to. So I uh, definitely want to give this a go and see how it works out. So here's another interesting rope. This one is made, well, it's unbranded, but the seller's name is Quihot, Chihot. It's Q-I-U-H-O-T or something like that. Anyways, this one is $12 on Amazon. The rope length is 10 feet 
and the thickness is about 2.5 uh, milliliters. Now, uh, what's interesting about this one is this has a different connector than all the others. This one is more of plug and play and self-locking. So if you can see, right, there is no screw and collar on this one. Essentially, you would press down here, right? I think it opens up some teeth on the inside of the barrel and then you slide the rope in and then it's good to go. Now, uh, I don't know if you can see this, right? But some of the rope is sticking out and I intentionally pulled it through because I wanted to see how deep it could go. So uh, what I like about this one is if you need to make an adjustment and you're unsure, you can, you know, uh, pull it through and have that extra, right? So that you have some uh, leeway there if you need to adjust it uh, even more. Or if you're loaning out the rope, then you know you can adjust the length for them and then put it back. Seems pretty uh, quick and quick and easy, quick and easy adjustment there. Um, <clears throat> now the handles, not really my style. I, I think maybe they had this barrel style for ergonomics or something like that but again these handles feel pretty heavy and so I don't know how that affects uh, the, the flick of your wrist when you're doing speed rope work this rope came with nothing but a plastic pouch uh, it does say jump rope so in case you forget but that was covered by a, a barcode and inside it's just it's like an ad uh, it shows you how to use the uh, self-locking uh, and how to jump rope. So uh, that's it there. Okay, one last one. Now, this one is not under 20 bucks. This is $24.99 on Amazon. It is unbranded. Uh, it's an individual seller, but I chose it because this is the handle that I'm used to working with. Uh, it's actually almost identical to the rope handle that I have. And it has a hollow barrel, if you can see that. So it is aluminum, sturdy, but it's also pretty light. Um, so I'll put the uh, link in the description box below. The downside to this is that it is not prime eligible. This one shipped directly from China. It took about two weeks to get here. Uh, it didn't come with any extra cables or any spare parts and uh, word on the street with this well let me go back for a sec so this has a screw and collar closure just like some of the other ones if you can see that uh, but word on the street uh, is that this particular handle or connector right is known to freeze um, I don't know if we'll get to test that out today I, I believe that is something that happens over time, but I wanted to throw it in there. I'll put the link in the description box below. Uh, I forgot to mention that some of these ropes do come in different colors. So for example, this one comes in a black, silver, and electric blue. The same thing goes for this one, actually the same shades of colors. Same with this one. This might have two other ones, but they're more uh, brighter. I think there's a yellow in there, uh, in addition to the electric blue, silver, and black. Um, and then this one, this has a few different colors as well. All right, that was a lot of ropes. I know, thanks for sticking with me. If you're still here, do me a favor, comment below and uh, let me know which rope you would choose. Now, if you have worked with these ropes, if you've worked with speed ropes before, comment and let me know uh, what your favorite type of rope is. Don't go anywhere, we're just getting to the best part. I'm gonna take you with me to the gym and we're gonna test these ropes out. Hey, what's up? So we're at the gym right now. I got my friends together. Uh, I kind of want to get them together and ask them some questions about the ropes. Uh, first question is, uh, do you guys all have your own speed ropes? Yes. yes. How much have you guys spent? 60 bucks. Yeah. 60? 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40 and 50. 40 and 50. Yeah. 40 and 50. Yeah. Same. 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 Okay. In terms of speed ropes, what is it that you guys look for? The weight of the handle. And then um, how thick the, the rope is. So rope thickness, um, handle, what else? I like the smoothness. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, the yeah, the bearing. The bearing. Because yeah. um, yeah. there's some that are like top bearings. Yeah. And they they just don't feel as smooth as like. I like the length of the handle, the small hands. So I want the so length of the handle, yeah. right? Oh, and that's kind of what um, I was telling the viewers earlier is that you know ultimately. Uh, buyers or athletes, they're going to have their own preferences in terms of, um, you know, speed, smoothness, handle barrel, 
if it's light and all that stuff. Is there anything else that you guys can think of? Price. Yeah. He's not just saying that okay. because I'm doing a review on Amazon Speedrun. I mean, I'm not going to go buy a How good do I look while I'm doing that without having to try it on? I mean, if it gives me like a hundred unbroken double unders, then maybe I'll invest in How many ropes have you guys been through? Uh, I think I'm on rope three. You're on rope three? No, two, two ropes. Two. I'm on With the ropes that you guys have owned, what are some of the issues that you guys have had? He just said. Sometimes, my, my sometimes our weight falls on it and it kind of bends and it just kind of screws up the rope. And it screws up the rope. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I found like uh, with mine, the wires are probably a little bit cheaper. It's the rigid. wires are cheaper. Yeah, I feel like it's really rigid. It doesn't flex as much. Yeah. So. Anything else? My cheaper one. My cheaper one doesn't spin as fast. The cheaper one doesn't spin as fast. Okay, it's like $9 on Amazon. Okay. <laughs> it's probably why. Yeah, but I learned a little bit on that one. I'm about to kill my review video, guys. <laughs> We're gonna test out these ropes today, so the workout, and you can't, they can't even see it on camera, but that, the workout today, okay, is gonna be an AMRAP 15 minutes, 60 double unders, 30 wall balls, and 15 minutes. Uh, these should be heavy. How did that rope hold up in your workout? It held up well. Uh, got, got me a second to get used to it, obviously, but uh, once I got used to it, I was able to string out a bunch, as many for me at least, like 20 in a row. In the beginning, when you actually had to do the adjustment, did you have any trouble with that? Not really. It was just a matter of me getting up the rhythm, especially of the weight of the handlebars and the flexibility of the actual. I love that I was able to adjust even on the fly. If it was a little, if I felt my arms were getting a little too wide, I could extend it a bit more. Uh, so but it, was I like easy, that. it was easy to adjust. Easy to adjust. And then um, I believe you mentioned that there is some extra length inside the barrel of the handle. There is. So as you can see, I mean, there's plenty of room, so you could always, if you're a shorter person, you could always pull it more, so you can actually doesn't doesn't you don't get that drag that you would normally. Got it. How did this rope work for you? I liked it a lot. I thought the bearings were super smooth. The handles are really light, and they're like small for my hands, yeah. so they twirled really well. Did you do the Did you do the adjustments on them? I did. Adjustments. Yeah, and how was that? That was easy. Uh, I mean, you just literally unscrew the end and cut it off with the wire cutters, and you're good to go. And then the weight of the handles was that pretty good? Yeah, I like the light aluminum to it. It's really nice. Cool. So it, if you were to rate the rope from one to ten, what would you rate? I rated it like an eight. An eight? Yeah, I would totally buy it again. How did that rope work out for you? Uh, rope is good. Handle is extremely heavy. Felt like I had to like going into like the second round, had to really use a lot of arm muscle to to do, you know to use the double under or to do the double under. Yeah. In terms of the adjustment on it, was it easy? Um, adjustment is that's fine. I, I like the uh, I like that you can actually just twist. The, uh, the the set screw here yeah. and adjust it accordingly uh, as opposed to like the other rows where you have to use like a special key to uh, adjust it yeah. so that's like one big plus to it yeah. as far as like the like the the weight of it it's good for training uh, if you're like trying to get faster on your double unders or, or just just regular jump rope stuff I think it's really good training tool um, but I wouldn't recommend to using it like if you were to measure yourself against time or how fast you can get or how many you can get um, for whatever reps. Yeah. How did that rope work out for you? So for me, during the wad, it was, it felt really heavy. It yeah. is a heavier rope, the handles are heavier. So because it was heavier, I had to jump higher to accommodate. Yeah. So I got tired faster and my arms got tired faster as well yeah. because it was heavier. I wasn't sure about the connector, like the whole loop and close kind of deal. What did yeah, you think about? actually, this probably, I think out of all ropes, this rope was probably the easiest to adjust because yeah. all you have to do is adjust it like your belt or like a you know, yeah. a dog harness. Like Do you think that that could come loose? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because if you see me doing it, it's actually in there pretty tight. Yeah. And I think you could just cut off whatever you don't need. And I know what you said, if you lost to this black that end, it would, like it would still stand. It will still stand. Actually, I'm having a hard time pulling it off. Yeah, so maybe that's. Um, how did that rope work out? I really like this rope. Um, comparable to my um, RPM rope, this is actually a great dupe for yeah. it. And yeah. um, the weight and the rope is actually almost exactly like it except like you said this is a lot cheaper yeah um and i would definitely buy this rope um i'm, I'm actually gonna buy this rope <laughs> 
And how was the weight of the handles thickness? Um, the weight is actually perfect for me. Yeah. I like a little bit of a heavier handle so that I could, it'll, it's easier for me to flick. Um, I'm obviously really bad at double unders and I got a lot more reps out of these ropes than my RPM. Did you, um, did you do the adjustments on it? Um, actually, there was two of us that were doing the adjustments. Yeah, and how was and that? The adjustments were actually so easy. Yeah. Um, it was actually easier than the RPM rope because with this one, it's just uh, basically cut and, and tighten. Yeah. Um, with the RPM, I think it was more of like, there was intricate parts to it. Yeah. So this was perfect. All right, guys. So you got to hear what my buddies had to say. Um, I actually, in the workout, had them round robin and test out as many of the ropes as possible. And in terms of favorites, there were two that stuck out the most. The one from three, two, one strong, and the one that is not uh, under 20 bucks, the one that is $24.99. Uh, with both of these, I think the unanimous uh, feedback was just that the handles were super light, they were easy to adjust, uh, the rotation and the spin uh, of these was great. I actually worked out with the B-Max rope from PL Concepts, and I gotta say, I actually really liked the rope uh, even with these thicker handles. The spin and the rotation on this thing was just really smooth. If you uh, were able to catch it in the video, I was able to do a lot of my sets unbroken, uh, which was awesome. Now, the one thing that took a little time to get used to um, is the adjustment, so the screw and the collar. So what I found out is that it's sort of like a two-prong or two-step two screw right where you loosen this and then you also have to loosen this to get the cord to come through and so uh, that was a little bit annoying but once I got it set up and adjusted it was um, a piece of cake so I would have to say personally this is my number one pick then there were the least favorites and this one came in at number one everyone that tried out this rope said that it was just too heavy the rope was too heavy the handles were too heavy. You really had to uh, exert extra effort uh, when you were trying to get this rope going. Now, uh, there are weighted speed ropes out there and so maybe this might be good to serve that purpose if you're trying to go up in weight. But if you are working in, if you're doing a workout that you have to move quickly and there's a lot of reps, just like in this one, there was 60, uh, this may just slow you down. Then uh, the one that came in right after that, Right, is the D2 zone rope. And again, the issue with this, uh, two things that stuck out was that uh, the handles again were heavy and that the ball bearings or the spin on the rope, uh, it's, it was kind of rough. And one of the things that I did notice as I was filming uh, the workout is that this particular handle or this particular rope, it was whistling. So after the workout, I actually took the rest of the ropes for a spin and here are a couple of my thoughts. So behind the B-Max rope uh, with the thicker handles, these two have to be uh, my second and third favorites. Uh, three, two, one strong and this one that is unbranded. Both of these, in terms of the adjustment, there's a screw and collar, so they're almost the easiest kind to adjust and uh, they were just smooth. They, the spin was smooth on it, the handles were light, so you were able to flick much faster when you're working through your double unders. Uh, I would say, again, the one drawback with this is it came from China, wasn't Prime eligible. So my suggestion is, and I didn't check, is that you could potentially find one uh, that is similar to this just from a different manufacturer. Now, uh, sharing the same sentiments, with the crew, uh, my two least favorites would have to be this uh, Letel one and the D2 Zone Fitness one. Um, again, with this, super heavy. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing double unders in a workout with this type of rope unless you really wanted to do heavier, uh, heavier speed rope, right? Heavier jumps. And with this, when I got onto the rope, it just felt super clunky. Uh, it was making noise. Again, the handles were heavy and it was hard to get that flick in, that quick flick uh, to get it. It just felt like it took extra effort. So there you have it. That was a long review, I know, but uh, I thought it was really important to pick more than just one or two ropes to show you guys. 
Um, there are so many ropes out on the uh, Amazon marketplace, it's hard to choose. So hopefully, uh, kind of seeing the different types or variations out there, you can kind of get an idea and maybe uh, narrow it down. I'll make sure to link up the uh, Amazon ropes down in the description box below. I hope that you found this review helpful. Uh, if you join in the middle or you had to click around, I completely understand it was a lot of uh, information. Anyways, again, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you do like or if you're digging these fitness gear reviews, make sure to hit that notification bell so as soon as I uh, upload some, you know that it's coming out. You can also connect with me on Instagram. I will put the information uh, somewhere up here, but also in the description box below. And uh, I'll see you in the next review.